have tuned into the West edition of the Property Show. This edition will take you to the best performing property destinations in the West and the top rated real estate projects here. Ankit Sharma, Deputy Manager, Research and Consulting at Prop Equity will guide us along the way answering all your investment queries. Coming up on the show today, Mumbai all set to get a mega metro rail network, 35,000 crores lined up to expand Mumbai's metro corridor. Navi Mumbai's Panvel region lets shortlist the top projects getting ready for use in two years. Property picks in Thane in 60 lakhs. Vajalpur in Ahmedabad, how is this market performing on investment returns? 1 BHK apartments in Pune in 30 lakhs, a look at the market that offers such options. And developers in Mumbai region come out with innovative schemes and concepts to restart property sales. What are they offering? Stay tuned for that. Let's begin the show with an emerging region, Navi Mumbai. Manish Kumar with us on the line. Hi Manish, go ahead with your question. I'm looking for a 2 BHK Navi Mumbai for an end user to stay there for 2 and 3 years. So my budget is uh, 40 to 50 lakhs. So please suggest me on a good op options in my budget. Okay, so Navi Mumbai, about uh, 40 to 45 lakhs, looking at a 2 BHK. Which micro market in Navi Mumbai would you recommend for Manish? Uh, I assume for the budget that he has, uh, Panvel would be the perfect micro market that uh, he can look into. Uh, uh, look into. Uh, this market, uh, in this uh, the the new airport that is coming in Navi Mumbai is close to this region. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, the area has great future potential also, uh, and in, and in terms of the current livability also, uh, the area has decent infrastructure. So, looking at some of the micro market data points, uh, his options are uh, he has 150 projects in in the mid segment, uh, leading to close to 28,620 units. Uh, the inventory overhang as of now is slightly high, close to 30 uh, months. Uh, the average price uh, in the region is 5300 rupees per square feet. Uh, the <coughs> appreciation in the uh, region has been close to 8.8%, uh, which is fairly okay. Uh, we have three uh, projects for him. First being KD Kalash by KD Group. Uh, he can get this project from the developer at 4500 rupees per square feet. Uh, the project is a standalone tower with two wings of steel plus seven height. Uh, the construction is at advanced stages. Uh, the project is 3.8 kilometers from the Panvel railway station and 4.5 kilometers from ONGC hospital. Uh, developer has already delivered KD Shelter and Mega Shivam project in Navi Mumbai. Uh, second is Platinum Pride by Platinum Group. The project is available at 4651 rupees per square feet from the developer itself. Uh, it's a G plus 7 structure standalone blind building uh, and retail shop on the ground floor. Uh, here also the construction is in advanced stages and the internal work is in progress. Uh, project is only 900 meters from the proposed uh, <coughs> NMMT bus depot in sector 5 and 3 kilometers from the Panvel station. Proposed <coughs> Karanje railway station is only 1.3 kilometers. Uh, developer has already delivered three projects in the region. Third is Vinayak Darpan by Adinath Group. The project is available at 4500 rupees per square feet uh, from the developer. It's a standard building again of still plus 6 uh, height. Construction is already started in this project. Fourth floor slab work is in progress. Uh, project is approved by SBI Bank. <coughs> uh, and the project has all uh, and the developer has already delivered eight projects in the region. So these are the three uh, recommendations from our side. Okay, so Ankit, what I gauge from your recommendations is that we're giving Panvel because of its strategic, uh, its location advantage, the airport, and like you said, uh, uh, connectivity to railway station. So, which is why uh, you would recommend these markets. Great Co correct. And you know, uh, this region has already <coughs> witnessed development from some of the prominent developers like Hiran Andani, okay. Godrej, Marathon, India Bulls. So, when such big developers come into your region, the area is likely to, uh, you know, uh, appreciate in long run. All right, so Panvel, Karanjade, micro market, about three to six kilometer radius of two railway stations, also close to the proposed Navi Mumbai International Airport. So, great location advantage. Manish, look at those three options for you KD Kalash by KD Group, Platinum Pride by Platinum Group, and Vinayak Darpan by Adinath Group. 
Okay, Manish writes this email. Uh, please advise me the right property in Ahmedabad. My budget is 25 to 34 lakhs. Preferred location, central Ahmedabad. Looking at Safal scheme, Parishkar at Kokra Circle. Is this the right place to buy? Let me know about the returns of this housing scheme. Okay, so housing scheme in Ahmedabad, Ankit. And uh, this is Safal scheme, Parishkar. So he is looking at uh, Parishkar uh, by Safal Constructions and uh, <coughs> this project is in uh, Maninagar. Okay. So Maninagar is basically an old established locality uh, and with good, good infrastructure and the livability quotient is uh, really high. So uh, the, the project uh, in principle gets a thumbs up from our end, nothing wrong fundamentally with the, with the project. Uh, however, we would like to recommend uh, him uh, properties in Vejalpur. Uh, looking at the key micro market data points of these two micro markets, uh, <coughs> total projects in uh, Maninagar are 11, Vijalpur are 15, uh, inventory overhang in Maninagar is 20, whereas in Vijalpur it's 10, uh, which suggests the, the sales are slightly better in Vijalpur. Uh, the average pricing in Maninagar is 34.50 rupees per square feet, whereas in, in Vijalpur it's 3700 uh, rupees per square feet. Uh, in terms of appreciation, both the markets are uh, close, Maninagar being at 5.6% uh, and Vijalpur at 6% on analyzed basis. Uh, so the two, recomm uh, two recommendations uh, uh, that we are giving are in Vijalpur. Uh, first being Swarit by uh, Bakeri Group. <coughs> he can get it from the developer at 32 to 3400 rupees per square feet. Uh, Swarit is uh, last of the project uh, in, in the last township that is uh, Bakeri City phase 1. Uh, it's a low-rise development project with basement parking in five uh, floors. Uh, the project is only five kilometers from Vastrapur railway station. Uh, township has luxury amenities, sports facilities, green pathways, uh, landscape, daycare facilities, cafe, etc. Uh, second being <coughs> Sanidhya Green by Shri Riddhi Builders. Uh, he can get it at 3300 to 3400 rupees per square feet from the developer. Uh, the project consists of eight blocks of G plus five floors each. Uh, it's a ready project uh, since 2014 and it's occupied as well. Uh, it's located off the station road, uh, one kilometer from the Vastrapur uh, railway station. Uh, project has basic amenities, not to talk uh, much about that. And it's located one kilometer from the corporate road and SG highway. So in terms of uh, location and connectivity, both the projects are really good. Okay, two projects that score high on location and connectivity. Market, we're talking about Vajalpur in Ahmedabad. Average capital values here about 3,700 rupees per square foot and uh, plenty of amenities for uh, end users here. Hospitals, schools, entertainment options in Vajalpur exist. Uh, look at these uh, projects. Swarit by Bakeri Group and Sanidhya Green by Sri Riddhi Builders. Vishal Dharme with us on the line. Hi Vishal, how can we help you? Yeah, hi, I am fine. How are you? Doing well. How can we help you? Uh, actually, I am looking property around 30 lakh uh, near Handewadi Hadap, sir. Okay. So, I am confused uh, about the property. Is, is that okay to purchase la a flat near Handewadi? Okay. So, Hadap, sir, or Hinjewadi, 1 BHK in 30 lakh, Sankit. So, 4 to 5 kilometers from uh, Hadapsar, the micro market that we would like to recommend is uh, Manjari. Uh, it is located on uh, Pune Sholapur uh, Highway. Uh, the, the micro market is as of now not in the uh, PMC limits, uh, but uh, in, in, the, in the upcoming master plan, it, it is likely to be into that. So, therefore, a lot of future potential in the, in the micro market. Uh, <coughs> coming to the micro market data points. Uh, the market has 17 projects uh, and uh, leading to 3200 uh, units. The inventory overhang is 24 which is uh, slightly on the uh, higher side. Uh, the weighted average price of the market is 4600 rupees per square feet. Uh, the market has given returns of 8% in the last two and a half years. Uh, we have three projects for him in the micro market. First is Avni by Dream, Dreams Group. He can get it from the developer at 4400 rupees per square feet. Uh, the project consists of three wings of G plus 12 floors <coughs> and the project is being delivered in phases. Uh, phase 1 has two towers and uh, is, in, is, is in the mid stages of construction as of now and is likely to get uh, completed uh, by late 2016. Uh, this project is located uh, around 1.5 kilometers from the Sh uh, Pune Sholapur Highway and is 7 kilometers from the uh, Magarpatta city which is the IT hub uh, in, in the city. Uh, project has modern amenities. 
the next project is Grand Bay by uh, Gemini Housing. Uh, he can get it from the developer at 4700 rupees per square feet uh, from the developer. Uh, it is spread across 9.5 acres consisting of 9 residential towers and a commercial tower as well. Uh, the phase one uh, with three towers is uh, under final stages of construction uh, and is likely to get delivered in mid-2016. Uh, the project is located bang on the Pune-Sholapur highway, therefore good in terms of the connectivity. Uh, the project has modern amenities including clubhouse, swimming pool, amphitheatre, etc. The third is Pride by <coughs> Ashtavinayak developers. He can get it at 4500 rupees per square feet from the developer itself. It's a standalone building of G plus 9 floors. Uh, the construction as of now is in the initial stages uh, and the, uh, uh, the plinth work is uh, right now going on. Uh, the, the possessions are likely to happen in, in mid-2017, slight delays expected. Uh, basic amenities are there in the project. The project is located 2 km from the Pune Sholapur uh, Highway uh, near the Manjari Stud Farm and 8 km from the Harapsar and 4 km from the SP InfoCity. Uh, bank uh, uh, finance is also available from SDFC Bank. Okay, so Ankit, uh, your research also points that okay, Manjiri is home to some reputed projects by uh, developers like Kalpataru and Kumar Urban. So apart from the location and the connectivity bit, like you said, it's located on the Pune Sholapur Highway. What are the other factors which are driving growth in Manjiri in terms of its infrastructure development or employment? Uh, see, Manjiri as a micro market uh, is slightly off, uh, is away slightly away from the uh, Harapsa. Okay. And it's an upcoming micro market, so there is a lot of future potential in the micro market, which is which can be seen in, in the region. Okay. And uh, given the fact that as of now it's not in the uh, municipal limits, mm -hmm. and uh, the possibility of it coming in the municipal limits that's driving that the that that any any location which is likely to see any kind of future development has a, the potential of uh, price appreciations to okay. a great extent. Okay, so, so it's it's a, it's, hmm. a, it's an immature ma immature market and likely to uh, evolve. So some bit of speculation there. Speculation well. market definitely but a definitely market. would say some uh, solid potential solid there, potential, potential. Definitely. okay so manjri located on the pune sholavur Hi highway connects it directly to harapsar that's the market vishal dharme we would recommend uh, avni by dream groups uh, dreams group look at that uh, grand bay by gemini housing and uh, pride by ashtavinayak developers Okay, Sanat writes us this email, uh, looking for a flat in Borivali with a budget of 1.75 crores. I do not want a ready-made flat, looking for possession in 2 to 3 years, so I can pay accordingly. Uh, location, Link Road or Borivali West, I live in Dubai. Okay, so our, a viewer from Dubai, Sanat is looking for a property in Mumbai, 1.75 crores. So with 1.75 crores, uh, he's looking for a property in Borivali West. Uh, with that budget, I think uh, the better market would be Borivali East as in Borivali West, uh, most of the properties are slightly beyond his budget given the large sizes of the project. Okay. Uh, and uh, in Borivali, Borivali East has better connectivity to Link Road also. Uh, <coughs> coming to the micro market data points, Borivali uh, East has 38 projects uh, in the mid segment. Uh, with the inventory overhang of 27 months. Uh, the average pricing is 13,600 rupees per square feet. Uh, the returns have been fairly decent in the market uh, at 11.3% on annualized basis. Uh, the projects that we would like to recommend are first Kanakia Aroha by Kanakia Spaces. Uh, he can get it from the developer uh, at 12,700 rupees per square feet. Uh, the project is spread across 1.4 acres consisting of three towers of G plus uh, 21 floors each. Uh, all three uh, towers are under mid uh, stages of construction uh, and are expected to get completed by late 2017. Uh, <coughs> it's located 1.5 kilometers from the Borivali railway station and the Western Expressway. So, in terms of connectivity, it, 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 it gets a thumbs up from RN. Okay. Uh, then, <coughs> second project is Rivali Park, uh, which is a, a JV between CCI project, uh, projects and G Corp. Uh, he can get it from the developer at 23,300 uh, rupees per square feet and that is the carpet area price. Uh, the project is spread across 3.5 acres uh, uh, of uh, uh, varying height and uh, the project is located in Dahisar uh, East near uh, Universal High School. Uh, the project has decent amenities such as clubhouse, multi-purpose hall, gymnasium, banquet hall. Uh, the next project is uh, Costco Platinum by Costco Constructions. 
uh, he can get he, he can again get it from the developer at 12500 rupees per square feet uh, this one is a redevelopment project consisting of two towers of g plus 22 uh, height uh, construction is at final stage in this project and internal finishing is going on uh, amenities include clubhouse garden health club etc uh, the project is uh, located 1.9 kilometers from the link road uh, and 500 meters away from the western expressway again uh, a big plus in terms of the connectivity Ankit, uh, so Sanat uh, is willing to wait it out for two to three years. What kind of appreciation can uh, Borivali East bring him? Uh, you are reporting about 11.3%. Will this momentum continue in the future? Uh, Borivali East uh, is uh, again a slightly stable market. <coughs> so uh, similar momentum can be expected. Mm -hmm. uh, not very high given the current market scenario. Uh, uh, one should not aim for 15 or 20 percent uh, in, in near future. Mm -hmm. uh, however, in long run, uh, similar mm -hmm. uh, appreciation shall be expected. Okay. All right. So in Borivali East, uh, the recommendations coming from Ankit are Kanakia Aroha by Kanakia Spaces, Rivali Park by CCI Projects and G Corp, and Costa Platinum by Costa Constructions.